if you struggle with having easy quality periods where they're not super heavy super intense in this video i'm going to give you three actionable steps that are going to help you tremendously because for many years i struggled with debilitating period symptoms heavy flows changing my tampon every couple of hours and that's not normal and there are lifestyle pieces that we can incorporate to make our cycles better Welcome to the channel. My name is Skidden. I'm a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner specializing in women's hormone health and gut health. And I'm filming this right before I leave for the airport on a trip soon, Harmony Queen. So allow me to begin. First of all, what is the PFF rule? This means that you are prioritizing protein, fat, and fiber at every single meal. Blood sugar balance equals hormone balance. And this is something I wish I knew sooner on the days where I was super stressed out, running from class to class as a student and ignoring my meals. My blood sugar was going all over the place, but little did I know this was impacting my hormones and how I was able to show up for myself as well. And this showed every single month at my monthly report card, my cycle. So refined carbs, those are going to make your periods worse. The roller coasters are going to cause our adrenal glands that work to manage our stress to work harder. So by focusing on the PFF rule, you can prevent those blood sugar spikes and the drops that lead to hormonal imbalances and increased discomfort during your period. The second is morning light exposure. This is a game changer. I had a woman um, leave a comment on my page saying, Yep, I've been practicing this for a year and my cycles have never been more regular. How incredible is that? So here's why this works. When you look at light first thing in the morning, this sets your body's internal clock and supports your cortisol levels. It tells your it tells your body what time of day it is. And it tells all the reactions and systems that are taking place every minute when that they need to operate to perform their best. And so when you're regulating cortisol, a hormone that helps control your blood sugar, regulate your metabolism and reduce inflammation, of course this is going to help your cycle. A proper cortisol rhythm, which happens every single day, ensures your body does not get confused. Uh, it's able to manage stress during every part of the day. It can get proper rest at night. Because, hey, you want your cortisol to be low at night so you can get proper rest and deep restorative sleep is going to help with your quality of your cycle. And the third is getting enough quality sleep. This is crucial for maintaining hormone balance, which directly affects your menstrual health. And I just posted a video discussing three ways to improve your sleep quality. So I'll link that one below. But poor sleep is going to impact all of your systems. It's not going to help your body to detoxify and cleanse and all of the fantastic processes that happen at night. It's not going to happen. This is going to likely lead to you feeling more stressed by not getting your rest, which is going to cause your period to be irregular, delayed, heavier, more uncomfortable. And so lowering stress, lowering information levels in their body is going to make your cycle smoother and more pain-free. So I have one question for you, which is which of these three tips can you see yourself implementing or do you already implement? What's one tip that has really worked for you that you'd like to pass on to another woman? Like this video so more women can reach it. And I'm sending you so much love, Harmony Queen, wherever you are. Bye-bye.